Hi everyone, welcome to the How To Craft Network Studio. My name is Tony Derek, and in today's video, we're gonna be making some beautiful mini cards using our Bloom and Grow Celebration Box. A wonderful box of goodies that's gonna see you through with the craft from start to finish. Now, I'm just gonna do an overview of the box and we'll get straight into some demonstrations. So the box comes with this beautiful gift box with that imagery on the front there. You can totally use this as a gift for someone, decorate it up if you want to, but most importantly, let's have a look at the wonderful contents. So inside this particular one, we have our alcohol ink pre-printed mounts. So all these need is a sentiment or an embellishment and you are good to go. We have our wonderful A6 Bloom and Grace stamp set and it's that wonderful tower with the floral embellishments on there. And it also has the coordinating die. We also have the bike, have a fantastic time. And then down underneath, we have the coordinating die. We have some beautiful painted mounts here that again just require a sentiment or a topper and you can stamp onto these you can watercolor onto these these are uncoated so these are going to see through great for postcards as well they can be cut down then we have a sheet of sentiments which can be cut away as you desire and then we have the incredible patterned papers now these are truly beautiful you have pink tones purple tones frames you have your really deep blacks in there as well. You have some grayscale and some white imagery in there as well. So we're going to create two mini cards from this wonderful box in this particular video today. There are other videos also linked to this particular box as well. So you're going to be getting some total inspiration. So you'll continue to craft with it time after time after time. So I have my pile here. So before I get into to the demonstrations, I do want to show you some finished samples because I think it's really important that you see the finished samples because you can screenshot them and you can replicate them yourself, maybe put your own twist on them should you wish. So let's have a look at these wonderful samples in here. So this is that wonderful alcohol background effect you get that really literally does look like you've painted it and created it. The bike, another cute mini one here. I love the alcohol background papers, they're wonderful. Then you can create some albums, some keepsakes if you want to, little note cards and books absolutely jazz it up as you please with some tags some toppers really really can be creative and because you get a ton of paper you don't have to worry about it all matching or coordinating this is a little notebook as well you really have enough to go through to get you um, creative from start to finish nice 3d project there on top of a book absolutely beautiful this one's in gold embossed. We're going to touch on some embossing powder throughout our lovely inspirational videos. Look at that beautiful fussy cut flowers on the corner there. Another lovely album and then some 3D uh, embellishments right on the corner there. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see how you have your alcohol ink backgrounds, your flowers. You have the wonderful creative sentiments on there. That is a wow factor card. So let's get straight into our crafty inspiration. So I'm going to do two cards in this one. So a little bit of a bonus here. I do have my stash here. So let me just move my items along the way here. Now, as you can see, I have done a ton of, ton of um, samples with these. I did them um, live in studio over and over again. I haven't stopped using it. So let's have a look at where we're going. So with this particular one here, let me just make sure I've got all of my components here. Now, if you are crafting along, I have an A2 card blank, which is black. And I have one of the alcohol um, mounts, which I've just cut down with all of that lovely detail on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this to the top. In fact, shall we go? Ooh, decisions, decisions. I think we'll go top to bottom like so. I'm just going to glue this in place. So these are thick painted mounts. So you've got some nice weight on your card here, as in not thin and flimsy. Then we'll just stick this down by the base here. And then from one of the um, patterned papers, I just love the floral um, design on here. Absolutely wonderful. And I felt like we could fussy cut those flowers and build them into this card absolutely wonderful now i have options let's have a look which one did we did i decide on in the end i think it was this one 
I love them all. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I don't overcomplicate um, my fussy cutting. I just go with a soft outline. I don't put myself under pressure to, you know, get it right. And if I have any white, because my fussy cutting is not brilliant, I just get my ink blending tool and just add some colour. So these are super quick little mini cards that you could make a ton of, you know, resell them, bag them up. So here we have our lovely uh, embellishment here. So you can see now as you add it to the base, how wonderful it, I mean, look at that. That just looks incredible, doesn't it? Absolutely incredible. So I have this one as well. I'm going to save this one. So in the set, we also get the wonderful bike and the die as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stamp the bike onto some of the coloured cardstock, which is in the set as well. So it's not white, but it has that purple hue on there as well. So I'm just going to grab my block. Here we go. And hopefully that'll just fit on there nicely. And we'll stamp this one in the black. So we are going to use this bike twice in two different ways in this particular video. And then as we go through all of the videos, you'll be able to see me using all of the elements uh, as individuals or combined. So let's just stamp this onto here. Now look at that. Is that not just wonderful? I love the fact as well that we do not have to um, fussy cut. It actually has the die to go around, which is wonderful. That makes me very happy. Although it's not too difficult to cut out, if I'm fair. Um, let's just move this out of the way. And let's bring in our die cutting machine. So I just have my little hand machine here. And then I'm just going to grab my plates. And I'm just going to pop this on here and I'm just going to secure it in place with some low tack tape. And it goes all the way around the beautiful flowers, around the seat and the wheels. We'll just pop this one through. Let's have a look. So let's see how this one looks. And then you have your wonderful bike. How cute is that bike? Absolutely awesome. I love this bike. I love, 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 love. So let's just move this to one side. And let's bring in our card. So we have our wonderful top here. And then we've already gone ahead and fussy cut the base, haven't we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down by the base. Just at the bottom, because I would like these to have my flowers at the top to have a little bit of movement. I'm just going to pop this down here. Really just sort of like give it, just stretch those fibres. Get a little bit of lift in there, not too much, but just a little bit. So then you can see we have some lift in there. Then we have our lovely bike. Oh, I don't want to cover that flower now. Oh, no, I cannot cover that flower. This is the beautiful thing about just crafting from your mind as well. You absolutely can change up as you go. But Oh, that looks okay. I'm happy with that. So let's secure this one in place. And again, I'm going to give this a little bit of a lift. And then I'm just going to add some colour to my flowers here. So I'm just going to take 
um, I think I'll go pink just to bring in some pink into my picture and then I'm just going to grab my paintbrush and a little bit of water I'm just going to add a touch of pink to the flowers these would look wonderful with a little bit of sparkle too as well so just add that touch of pink to there I'll just tidy this ink away here and then i think what we will do is we'll take one of the fabulous sentiments from the set love always wins very romantic this set so i'm just going to trim this one down so everything i'm using is everything from the set okay i'm not using anything else just the items from the set and I think we'll have Love Always Wins across the bike. Let's show you how this looks like so. And then it's going to tie all this corner together beautifully. Let's just tidy this side up a little bit. Now, if you have pads and things, you can totally raise it up if you want to. And this embellishment that we had from this one, you could cut one of the flowers and just pop it over the top corner if you don't like the plainness. But I quite like the plainness of this one. I think it's a really, really pretty card. So that's a small miniature card. So let's move on to another one as well with a similar, similar sort of format, but using the incredible papers in the set as well. So let's just pop this on the back here. And let's move on to the next one. So what for the next card, what I've done here is I have um, taken some of the wonderful paper with that beautiful door on there. OK, so I've just cut it down and it's got a nice white matte and layer on here. So what I'm going to do this time is instead of stamping the bike out in black, I think we're going to go into a nice white embossing. So let's just see if I have my white to hand. I did think I'd got my white out, but looking at it, I've actually got gold. Now gold would, would work as well. And that one's clear. So I think we'll go gold because it will look uh, equally as pretty. Oh, what's this one? here we are that was that was that was fate it was there for me which is wonderful so let's just grab some of the card stock from my off cuts now this is a beautiful thing about um having off cuts never waste anything okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use my anti-static bag and i'm just going to ink up this wonderful piece of sort of alcohol ink type style card and then I'm going to stamp it in white use, using my sticky ink pad here we go and what this is going to do is when I've done it in white it's going to coordinate with that dot with that white dye white doll that's already on the patterned paper so let's ink this one up use that anti-static a little bit more make sure I get a really good print so let's stamp this one out push 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 get all of that detail now we have our bike you can't see it at the moment but let's get some powder on there You can see how different it looks stamping it onto patterned paper. I love the look that we get. So let's just pop this to one side. And let's get our gun hot. So always get your gun hot to get better results if your gun is hot. Good 
this bike is so cute. And then we'll take our outline die, add it round again, and all those cute flowers in there. Now you could absolutely 3D the basket up on this bike, cut it away, do it twice and cut it away. That would look totally awesome as well. So let's just bring in our cutting plates here. And let's run this one through this time. So I'm just again using my little die cutting machine. Isn't that just totally awesome? Love, love, love. Who loves the bike? Who loves the bike? <laughs> so let's just set this aside for now. And let's build our beautiful card. I'm excited to use my tower as well, by the way. Lots of exciting things. So let's bring in our card blank. So again, I've got a nice black one and then I've got a nice sentiment and I've chosen you are enough. Of course, you are enough. And then um, let's build our card. So card blank is black, then a piece of white. And we'll just get this on here first. I'll show you. And then we'll get this stuck on here. So, and then we have our pattern, which is nice, really nice. And then we have our wonderful bike. Look at that. Does that not just look so cool? Everything works together. It's wonderful. Pop our bike here. Like so. I've, I've brought the front wheel down a little bit to create a little bit of perspective on there. And then we have you are enough. And then we'll just pop this up by the top here. There we go. All done. Make sure you keep it nice and clean. So that is two cards, totally complete. I'll just show you this one again. Super easy using those miniature bikes with that lovely um, floral display on the basket. Just totally, how different do they look? But yet pretty much the same components. So there we go. That is a little miniature class on two mini cards that took only moments to make. I hope you've enjoyed that quick inspirational video. Make sure you stay tuned because we have tons more to come for you. Take care. Bye.